all right this is how to chop like ableton or how to uh get one of your pads i'm trying to get one of my pads see if i can get this one out okay let's go to the audio okay let's go to audio let's go to the program edit and you have a blank screen and i'm gonna pull up one of these loops it's this loop so i'm gonna pull this well i can right click it and go to add to current audio track okay then we'll go back to program edit now it's on audio track and you have to, you have to when they throw it in they just throw it in they don't think about throwing it on the one and one so you have to get your by default this is on the pointer and you have to click the top and drag it so first off I have another sample that I have did before this and that I had uh, well, well anyway we're gonna just learn how to chop like Ableton so we we're gonna play this pad So we're gonna play this pad and to chop like Ableton, I'ma tell you in 2021, I don't know what I was doing in 2020, but this was right under my nose and I really wasn't thinking about how to do this. So we got this scissors, uh, we got this scissors tab. So we click that or hit S, but you gotta make sure this is off right here. You gotta have keys off so I can hit S. So, okay, let's hit S. And what I would do is chop it up at each. We're going to chop it up at each um, at each one and one. So, 4151, 6171, etc., etc. So, we're going to go back to the corner. And this is what I want to show you about the corner. If you click the top, it's going to select the slice, right? And if you click down here, you see these brackets, this will loop it out. I mean, this will actually stretch your sample back to the original sample of all, uh, all of these slices are different slices once you slice it. So you hit this one, this is a different slice, but if you drag it over, that'll be this slice over top of this slice. So the, the under slice wouldn't matter. So this would be the original slice, you get what I mean. So we're gonna hit Control Z. And to chop like Ableton, um, you just gotta hit one button and then shift. And if you hit shift, it turns into arrows. If I can get this, I select it. It, it don't wanna work on me right now, so. Okay, excuse me, it was control. I'm looking at the wrong ones. So it's control. You hit control and it stretches it stretches it's, it actually warps this slice so I can warp this slice over here and uh, let's hear it nothing's done you have to hit warp you gotta make sure it's selected then you hit warp so if I select these these are not warped yet but if I select this one I'll go control Z I gotta stop doing that you gotta go to corner and if you, you select it and you got warp you can actually uh, down the semitones or the fine tone, the fine fine tones. So let's uh, semitone. You see what I'm saying? You can like, uh, you can actually control on this side. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what if you got a drum loop up in here and you start slicing it and you start pitching it, semitone it and stretching and stuff like that? That's what I want you to know that this could be done in MPC or it may be in MPC beats. I haven't tried the MPC beats, but this is the regular MPC and software. So um, I'll let you know that you can chop by hitting control 
or um, Command in Mac. I don't fault me for that because I don't have a Mac, but you can figure it out. Just a couple button presses and uh, let me know how to um, let me know how you chop your beats in uh, MPC. And uh, thank you, A1 Beats. I'm gonna give him a shout out because he the one taught me how to be, use this chop method. And I'm I got another video talking about the chops. And I'm gonna let this one be short, but I mean, the possibilities are endless, bro. You can like chop this, and then you can duplicate it. And then you can go back, and then you can like chop this down even more. Chop this down up. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just letting you know that trick. And I'm not going to let this be too long, but like and subscribe. And if you want more NPC type tutorials for about about nothing about it, you know, just hit me up in the um, subscription. And we can try to get this done and talked about because a lot of people got a lot of questions and I got a lot of answers. All right. Peace out, guys.